Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.9 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine IB in the circuit in figure 3.58 using nodal analysis. Okay, we have this circuit here. Maybe the first thing that we need to do is to set this as our graph here in which the voltage here will be zero. So I'll have V is equal to zero. And let's set up our nodes here because we are asked to use nodal analysis. So we set this node here as node V1. Okay. And then what can we see from here? This is a voltage source. And this is the positive terminal. So the negative terminal will be V1 minus this value here. So I will have V1 minus 60 IB. Right? So we'll have this value on this node here is the V1 minus 60 IB because the difference between this node and this node has to be 60 IB. Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. So this is going to the right because IB is going to the right. Let's assume this is going down and this is going down also. And one more note I think that we can infer from the circuit is this is 24 volt from the ground. So I have 24 here. That's good. And now we can do KCL at node V1. So let's do exactly that. KCL at node V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in is this one and that current will be 24 minus V1 because the arrow is going from the left to the right, right? So I have 24 minus V1, not the other way around. So I have 24 minus V1 divided by the resistance between them, which is 250. Good. And this current here is going out. So we will have this one and this one going out. So this current here is V1 minus 0 divided by 50. Okay, that's good. And now what's next? Plus the current that goes out. So it is this one, but this eventually goes to this one. Because the current is in series, this and this will be the same, right? So we can calculate only this one. And this current here is V1 minus 60 IB minus the voltage here will be minus 0 divided by, I think, 150. 150. Okay, I think that is good. What's next? What's next? Yeah, this. I think I just want to get rid of the 0. P1 minus 0 is just P1. And then this one will be zero. Okay. And this is a little bit tricky. What is the what is their LCM? Should I use that? I don't know. Okay, maybe let's let's multiply both sides by By what? I think we can multiply all of that by 300 and 7, 3750 like this. Why? Because 250 and this one will cancel into 15. So I will have 15 here on the left hand side and then multiplied by 24 minus V1 here. And then this 50, 50 will cancel into, okay, I will have 50. That will cancel into 75. So I will have 75 V1 
and then 150 will cancel into 25 i think yeah it will cancel into 25 so i will have 25 this will be v1 minus 60 ib okay now let's distribute this 15 and 24 will become 360 so i have 360 minus 15 v1 and then we will have 75 v1 and then plus this one here i will have 25 v1 and then minus 25 multiplied by 60 that will be 1500 ib okay good okay now 75 and 25 will become 100 and let's move 100 to the left hand side so i will have 360 minus 115 v1 and that will equal to minus 1500 ib and what is ib ib is 25 minus v1 divided by 250 good now 250 is cancelled into 6 i think yeah this will be 6 so let's write that as here 15 v1 25 multiplied by 6 is minus 150 and then we will have plus 6 v1 yeah plus 6 v1 okay now let's move this to the left hand side so i will have minus 121 v1 and then we will have minus 150 minus 360 good i will have minus 121 v1 is equal to minus i think that will be 150 plus 360 is 150 150 not 150 510 so i will have v1 v1 what is v1 i think that will be 510 divided by 121 4.215 okay 4.215 4.215 and the unit here will be volt okay that this is a uh, slightly complicated mathematically and i think there there will be a good chance that i did any mistakes in this video but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.